Hello everyone. Today we are back again with another topic that is family. Now everybody of us has a family. Maybe a short one or a bigger one. But without family we can't grow. We can't do anything in our life. So educators, I am Manjishta Chatterjee. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and put the bell icon for more notifications on updates. Let us come to the definition of family. As said by E. V. Burgess and H. L. Locke, a family is a group of persons united by the ties of marriage, blood, adoption or constituting a single household which are where we are interacting and intercommunicating with each other and we have certain roles like of husband, wife, mother, father, son, daughter, brother and sister and where we are creating and maintaining common culture. That means we can't say everybody a family but when there can be a tie of marriage, that, that, that means in between two persons there is a marriage or there is a blood relation or I have adopted somebody and where we are actually interacting and intercommunicating, maintaining a common culture, that under a common culture we are interacting, we are communicating and we have different certain uh, roles, the respective social roles as we say as husband, wife, in case of a marriage, we say one is husband, another one is wife, mother and father. When there is a blood relation, that means a second uh, second portion of the uh, second step of the um, life when we have started after marriage, mother, father or son and daughter, all these nomenclatures are found. So that is a family. It is not a single person or it is not any group of person but a group of person united by all these bonds and having all these special roles in the community sharing a common culture is a family. Let us move forward to the elements of family. Now what family consists of or what are the different elements of family? Definitely a form of marriage. In the definition only we know, uh, came to know that when a family starts, there is a marriage. A bond is created. Okay. So a form of marriage. A system of nomenclature. Again, if you move forward to the, uh, move backward rather to the uh, definition, we see that we call different people as father, mother, son, daughter. So we give them name. There are different systems. So as you can see over here, there is a tree shown over here, right? So great uncle, there's a grandfather. So two people, they started their life like great grandfather, great grandmother on the basis of marriage. They started their life and they started their extension of the family and ultimately nephew, niece, ne uh, son, daughter, then uh, me, wife, cousin. So each and every part there are a tree kind of thing formed with different names given to the different relationship. And that is what we call as family. Economic provisions. Now what do we mean by economic provisions? As we can know that there are different people of the family. They provide us with all the amenities like medicine, uh, the clothes, household, when we want to travel, when there is food, we need a house to stay. We maintain a family budget. Along with that, we also have some entertainment. We have some transport. Now, where from this family budget come? This family budget comes from the income of either one member of the family or different heads of the family. And there is one head who controls the economic provisions of the house. If we don't have this economic provision, we can't do or we can't have any of these. So it is a mandate and it is one of the important element of family. Next is common habitation. Definitely. 
first only i told you they under certain common social habits social habits common habitations also develops a family we are living together by any bond either it's a marriage or it's a blood relation or it's adoption we are sharing a common roof we are sharing a common roof as you can see over here there is a under one building under the same building the whole family is living family creates more or less durable associations if there is no association that tree that i've shown you in the uh, nomenclature slide that big tree of family would not happen so definitely it's a durable association it's a relationship where we are actually working hand in hand and we are actually trying to secure our bond and make it durable for the life long as you can see a signature of all in one or durable association has been shown and family also contains blood relation it is one of the important element of family because family tree forms with the help of blood relation or uh, if it is not uh, adoption but some suppose you are have, uh, some people are bond, bond, uh, bonded by the bond of marriage so those people will not have any blood relation but they will start a family and they will have a blood relation thereafter so they will start a blood relation within a family and create that nomenclature or create that family tree that we have seen common culture definitely under one roof when we are staying we are having a same habitation our aims our views our values are similar we are born with that and we share more or less we share the common culture now there can be intercultural there can be a intercultural uh, relationship in a family but then also we try to follow the basic culture that we have within our family so that was all the elements of family thank you